Hi, Desiree. Milestone two, your memoir of a long-distance runner assignment. All right, so um, looks like you're utilizing a whole bunch of different uh, uh, design elements, which is great. Uh, let's take a look at your images. So um, remember uh, for metadata, we need some five very specific pieces of metadata. We need file name and number, date, exposure, flash, fire, did not fire, as well as exposure mode. So looks like you've got uh, the dates, the exposure, and the, uh, uh, the, the shooting mode. So we just need to incorporate that uh, your, your file name and number, as well as your flash, fire, did not fire. So going through your images, um, be a little bit careful of your exposure. A lot of these are really underexposed like uh, this one here like this whole series here uh probably a good full stop underexposed um everything is very dark and we really we're really having uh problems you know differentiating between the background and like the hair um it kind of just looks like there's a almost look like there's a, a hoodie that's just kind of floating right there so you know, just be, be a little bit mindful of your your exposure anytime you have just that huge bright white sky um, it's overcast. It's, it's always a good idea to try and uh, try a couple of test shots, maybe even try uh, overexposing uh, by a stop or so just to see what it looks like. Uh, utilize that LCD panel on the back of your camera there. It's a great tool. So going through uh, the images, there was a couple of them that really stood out to me. I liked this one a lot. Um, you know, everybody has the ones of them running, but, you know, kind of adjusting the shoe and fixing the shoe. I know anytime I go out on walks, I, I almost always get stone stuck in the bottom of my shoe, so I can relate to that. The other ones that I found really fascinating were the ones you shot at night. Um, specifically, um, you know, I liked this one because I like the lens flare coming off of the, uh, the lamp, um, but I also like this one here that we have all these patterns of the uh, uh, strings of lights kind of taking us from the foreground and top down to the background, down towards the, the middle of the frame. I like that a lot. So I'm always really fascinated by, by uh, nighttime photography. Okay, so looking at the ones you chose here, your three, let me uh, zoom back out. I, yeah, I like this one a lot. Um, it's very monotone in terms of not a lot of color, but that's really communicating the feeling of this time of year, in, uh, especially where I am up in the, the Northeast or even in the Midwest, uh, anywhere where it's cold, um, and this is just your typical winter sky. I think that one worked. Um, this one I liked. Uh, maybe try tweaking this a little bit in Photoshop, brightening that up a little bit to uh, bring out some more of the detail. Um, and, and this one especially, I love the sky. But just everything down to here where your subject is, it's just really kind of dark and dingy, which does kind of relate to the weather conditions. But I think we could tweak that just a little bit to brighten it up uh, and still achieve the same effect. So of these three, I think this one would probably be my favorite. Just try tweaking that and maybe even try uh, lightening up, if you can, just the bottom area here uh, and see if we can retain this, uh, this beautiful sky up there. All right, so yeah, those that's my suggestions. Like I said, I also really like those uh, the nighttime shots. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to shoot me an email.